So friends, welcome back to our channel, Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Harshit Srivastava, who have recently cracked the job of a junior Power BI developer as a fresher, and more importantly, after 11 months of consistent hard work. Moreover, he has around six years of career gap, and he even had some issues with communication skills also. So despite of all these difficulties, he cracked this job. So this video will be very important to all those people who want to start their career as a data analyst. This will be your source of motivation. So do congratulate him in the comment box as he really deserves the appreciation for the consistent hard work that he has shown. And also I would like to add it that he is a self-made data analyst. That means he has learned everything for free. So now let's start the video and before that if you're new to the channel then do subscribe the channel for more useful videos like this and also you can follow my Instagram page learn with gigs for job related regular updates plus short videos on data analytics domain. Hello Harshit, how are you? Hi Sasan. I am good. Thanks for asking. What about you? I'm also fine. So first of all, thank you so much for taking out the time and coming on to this channel. Let's begin with your educational background Harshit first. So can you tell, could you please throw some light on that? Yes, sure, Sasan. So my name is Harshit. I am from Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh. I did my intermediate and and a whole schooling from my hometown. Afterwards, I come, I did my BTEC with computer science and engineering in 2018. Okay, so your graduation got completed in 2018, right? So what did you do after that? After completing my graduation, I started preparing for UPSC journey as I was very passionate about UPSC and also uh, means I, I was thinking to, to, to contribute something positive to the society. So I prepared for near about five years and finally I quit it in 2022. For more than five years, you, you kept on uh, trying for UPSC, right? And due to some reasons, you are not, you are not getting the results. So how were you managing your mental pre uh, pressure during this period because your gap was increasing, you were not earning, right? Can you throw some light on that? How were you managing your stress level? So Sasan, as we know that it, UPSC is a tough exam. So till two, three years, I was not having any pressure because I was, I was knowing that it will take time. But uh, as I give two, three attempts in the, in the initial years of my preparation, and I was also not getting expected results. So after three years, my parents told me they were not confident from the initial years only. So they told me that I said you should quit the preparation. Yes, after two, three years, three years, I was having some pressure. But I was not taking it seriously till last year when when the, when a situation point came in my preparation. So I thought of quitting it, and uh, then I take, took a final decision to quit UPSC. So uh, now let's talk about like uh, how your journey started towards data analytics. I connected with one of my cousins, so he told me that uh, Harshit, you should you can start pursuing data science. So from him only, I came to know about data science. I followed one channel also for few months of this night, but after two, three months, I connected with one professional. So he told me that Harshit, the easiest way to get into data science is that you should start with data analytics because in that projects are also coming in large number as well as openings are also large in number. So you should first start with data analytics. Taking his suggestion seriously, I again started researching about data analytics. So from YouTube only, I came to know that for data analytics, Power BI, SQL, and Excel are the basic skills that one should acquire to get into data analytics. Then in this way, I my journey for data analytics started. So did you invest any money uh, for to learn any of these skills? In the initial days, I was very much excited about data analytics, and at the same time, I came I came through one of the ad on Instagram and that ad was related to Power BI workshop. So you're talking uh, about that uh, 99 rupee workshop? Yes. Okay. So after completing that workshop, I, I got very disappointed that what quality of content they are providing. So I thought that not to invest, not to invest any money and I should go for free content available on YouTube. So you, you, you went for YouTube to learn the things. Can you suggest or can you uh, tell what all particular resources you use for all these skills so that can be uh, useful for the audience who will be watching? Starting with Power BI. So for in Power BI for learning purpose, I follow Kerbal and SQL BI. And for interview preparation, I, I, I have gone through some of, the, some of the playlist from your channel that is Learn with Things. Then coming to SQL, one, of, one working professional is present on LinkedIn, whose name is Vishal Kosar. So he, so at that time, he was conducting a free session, free training. So I, I joined his training, and for practicing, I followed Ankit Bansal's channel. And afterwards, I, I have solved few problems 
not every problem few medium problems from hacker rank so how many months did you give to learn all these skills so sasan since i did some mistakes in the part in the initial days so it took me 4 to 5 months to complete this learning so this is very important point to note down like he took 4 to 5 months to learn all these you should give ample amount of time to learn and practice the skills the way harshit has done so that is this is very important to note down so i forgot to mention resources about excel so i used one youtube channel creator name is chandu channel i followed for learning excel so now let's talk about harshit your job hunting period first of all i started with my linkedin i started building connections with working professionals to get reference as well as for developing my online credibility day on daily basis i used to create one short video where i used to explain some concept related to power bi and all power bi and sql and i was i was consistent in posting those video video as my native language is not english and i was also not used to english so i thought of creating videos so that in that way i can uh, improve my in- english speaking also apart from linkedin i also used a nokri but i didn't got success from nokri and i got success from linkedin only. okay so overall you utilized nokri.com but you didn't get any result from there but from not- from linkedin you actually got the interview call which you actually converted right so linkedin was the one yeah. which was helpful for you now let's talk about your projects how did you used to build your projects so sasan first of all i started with forage internship that is virtual virtual internship in that internship i created three reports it was very basic level so once i got experience afterwards i took one project from more basic resume project in that project i applied all the learnings which i got through my previous project and i implemented various functionalities like bookmarks drill through as well as complex text and for sql i picked the same project of code basics i have used cte's window functions all these things i have utilized in querying and for excel also i built one small report where i utilized v lookup and different excel functions okay so what i understood that you did some unguided projects right you took forage virtual internship you participated in code basics resume project challenge so in this way you did some different projects in different skills right and which were completely unguided means nobody was there to guide you you did it on all on, on your own right right so harshit also i wanted to ask you you created your resume right so was it a one page resume ah uh, yes sir it was a one page resume and uh, what was the ats score of that resume ats score was above 70 but 70 okay and how many projects you showed on that resume so for power bi i have shown two projects for sql one and for excel one okay harshit now let's talk about the interview uh, that you went through like how many rounds happened and what all things were asked in the interview so, one round happened and the duration of that round was near about two and a half to three hours so in that inter- so what they did they asked me to share my screen and they asked me to open that code basics project and afterwards they started asking questions related to that project the whole interview was based on my project only so one more thing so you talked about your projects right so did you create a project portfolio for yourself ha uh, yes sasan i created my project portfolio on movipro that is for power bi and for sql i utilized github Okay, for Power BI, utilize Noipro.com, and for SQL project, you utilize GitHub. So that is also very important to create a portfolio, which is which will act as a f- proof of work, whatever you have learned. You can listen from Harshit that whatever projects he created, uh, he had the interview on those projects itself. And one more thing, I wanted to uh, clarify from you, Harshit, like you got the interview call from LinkedIn. That means uh, you were up- you applied somewhere, or somebody directly gave you the opportunity. So Safan, I didn't apply for this company, and I was. in touch with my team lead from from last 4 5 months and opportunity came in his company he reached out to me and asked for my resume and afterwards he scheduled my company interview if you are creating your online credibility on linkedin you can like you can get the opportunity directly from the team leads or the recruiter itself they will directly reach out to you because they have been seeing your works they have been seeing your post for the past couple of months and that's what happened with harshit even he had this much years of career gap still somebody directly reached out to him and gave him the interview call so that is really good point to note it down and that's why it's very important to create your online presence on linkedin so harshit uh, like after having this much years of gap did, did they ask you about this gap in the interview ha ah, yes they asked me about my gap i honestly told them that i was preparing for public exam okay. and they were fine with it they were only, only considering about what skills i am bringing to the table that is also very good from company point of view that they they just focus on your 
skill set rather than their gap year so that is really commendable from company side also now let's talk about the salary so if somebody has this much years of gap 5 plus or around 6 years or even 6 more than 6 years of gap what salary they can expect as a fresher as a aspiring data analyst so as i was having near about 6 years of gap so i didn't focus on salary and what whatever i was getting i agreed and i joined the company So Arshit, I think you have uh, answered all the questions brilliantly. I definitely think that uh, people will get a lot of insights from your journey. They will get a lot of motivation to move ahead in their career. You are a great inspiration for all those people who have a big career gap. That yes, you can get a job as a data analyst if you did if you do the things in the right manner in the with the right strategy and obviously hard work is required. So thank you so much for coming and sharing your journey, Arshit. Thank you, Safan, for inviting me on this podcast.